back. Now get ready to save money on items like detergents, shampoos and chocolates. Fast-moving consumer goods companies are gearing up to slash prices on everyday items after the GST Council brought down rates for many categories. CNBC TV 18's Ria Shade has this report. Shampoos, detergents, cosmetics, perfumes, chocolates. These are only a few out of the 178 items that will get cheaper. With most of these products being moved to the 18% slab from the 28% slab, FMCG companies like Dabar, HUL, Nestle, GSK Consumer have decided to pass on the benefits of lower tax rates. And consumers are thrilled. Definitely purchase more things like cosmetics and shampoos and whatever hygiene products that the government has slashed prices of. It's a very good news. It's a big relief for uh, all the class of uh, people, those who buy the things. With the extra savings, probably we might spend it on things other like, yeah, invest it more in shopping. If I'm buying my shampoo, one or two bottles, if it is cheaper, then I'll buy one more. On an average, FMCG companies are planning to reduce prices anywhere between 5 to 10 percent for most of these 178 goods. For instance, Dabar plans to slash shampoo prices by 5 percent, Amul plans to cut prices of chocolates and condensed milk by 5 to 10 percent. Without citing the quantum of price reduction, companies like HUL, Nestle and Godrej Consumer have also indicated that they will also pass on benefits of the tax revision to consumers at the earliest. Most of the consumer goods companies that we spoke to said that they would go ahead and cut prices to pass on the benefits of taxation to consumers or they would go ahead and increase the kind of quantity of products sold at the same price. In fact, affordable pricing would help drive rural demand as well, which has been muted over the last couple of months. With more stability in the macro environment now, FMCG companies are hopeful that these price cuts will also have a positive impact on volumes which have been hit over the last few quarters. In Mumbai with Priya Shet, Kritika Saxena.